Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh. Though we understood the elder apostles, great millstone, peace and blessings to all the brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, uh, you know, we got a couple of articles already uh, geared up. You know, the mainstream media is pushing Corona, Corona, Corona all over the place. But, you know, uh, it's getting now to a point where it's almost like it's a diversionary tactic. It's other things going on in the world as well. You know, it's earthquakes happening. It's uh, still, you got the situation happening over there in the Middle East, all right? It's things other than coronavirus, all right? And this is the perfect time for Esau Edom to distract people on all fronts, man, okay? When you look at it, all right, they're going to use the coronavirus to put in place draconian measures, all right? We just finished watching a video from... Richie from Boston uh, stating what their plans are for uh, civil unrest, arrest, quarantining, so on and so forth. And then, not even to allude to the next fact is the prison system. The prisoners are being let out, okay? Nobody's adding two or two together. They want this place to be in utter chaos, man. Okay, so it could be like the first purge, it be like that movie. And then what they want to do is rise from the ashes, okay? Like a phoenix. Like a phoenix, you see? And most of our people don't even know what's going on, man. All right? Yeah, quick precept. Uh, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That's right. So most of our people don't know how the uh, stock market works. Let's take that for instance. All right? They, their thing right now is they're crashing the economy. You know, it was the retail apocalypse. Well, a lot of, uh, and I'll bring up the article if I can. Mm -hmm. A lot of these uh, companies are going to be uh, shutting down over this coronavirus uh, pandemic. Scam, mm -hmm. pandemic. All right, because of furloughs. Okay, so, you know, rent is due with tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's the first of, first of the month of April. For, for a lot of companies. Cheesecake Factory put out a statement saying they're not paying anybody for their buildings right now because they got ganked last last year, last month. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's eating in their restaurants. They're not making enough money. So, you know, it's no percentage. The, the thing that I'm getting at, it's no preventative measures put forth in Babylon the Great. That's how you can tell that this place is the home of the wicked, man. Okay, when you look at uh, Job 9 and 24, it says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. How can a damn third world country like uh, Venezuela or uh, what, what's another place, uh, Brazil, any of these places, they already cut payments to bills, rent, mortgages, all these places. And then you got the countries in the UK. That did the same thing in, in Greece. Europe, Greece, all these countries cut all that. You know what's going to happen here? Nothing. And that's that's the surefire way that America wants this in like a police state, man. You see what I'm saying? It's coming down to the point where you can almost feel like they want this place to be a, a fucking a fucking mess, man. Right. They want chaos in the street, man. That's right. right. You know. When you look at Second Ezra, what the fifteenth uh, chapter? chapter mm -hmm. That's what it talks about, man. Sedition among men. Yeah, okay. Um, this is Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift to stir up the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to. Yeah, because um, like the brother said, you know, with um, with these uh, people still having to pay rent and pay like car loans and these type of uh, uh you know, without with lack of jobs and lack of income. You know, they showing you that you know people. The people, uh, uh, how can I say it? They, they, they're gonna lose it. You know, they're gonna lose it, and hence why they have the stimulus package. You know, people are uh, depending on that stimulus package to to take care of their families or to, to to pay for their rent or whatever the case is. But mm -hmm. that's only for a short amount of time, and hence after that, what are you gonna have? You're gonna have chaos going into the sedition amongst men, 
the uproars of the people, which is going to happen here in Babylon, but it's going to be on a major scale. You yes, know, sir. showing you that this place is going to crumble because of the leaders, you know, uh, and how they're oppressing the people, how they're pushing that, that we mentioned earlier, the draconian measures, yes, the draconian laws, yeah. you know? Come on. Yes, showing you that they don't want to uh, uh, um, fix any problem. You know, this is the point. They, you know, they make order out of chaos. The whole point is uh, they have a, something called the, the problem, the reaction, and the solution. Mm -hmm. The Hegelian dialectic. You know, mm -hmm. right. And that's what it is. So mm -hmm. all, all this mess, all this turmoil, all this chaos they're doing is for a reason. Because ultimately we know why, you know, through prophecy, that they're trying to enforce this war. It's that mark of the beast pursuing to, our, pursuing to Revelations 13 and 16. He said, where it says he calls all, both, small and great, rich and poor, to receive that mark. So ultimately, we're not going back, man. They're trying to, you know, get rid of this cashless society, get, get, get rid of these greenbacks so they could bring this digital currency. So, but to the people, to the uh, uh, peons, to your, average, to, to, to your every, everyday average Joe, they don't understand. They're really thinking that America's going, going back to, it's going to go back to normal, that everything's going to go back to the way it were. But in reality, it's not. You know, right. This is just the beginning, you know, like the scripture says, the beginning of sorrows. And the things that we're seeing are the prelude of things that's happening in the other countries. And now it's going to start coming to America. You know, like the, pre the previous years, you've seen what, the uproars of the people, right? People standing up. And now you've seen the famine, you know what I'm saying? Wait until the, 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 the shortage and, and the full houses go empty. Then then people really going to lose their minds, you know? Yes, sir. Y'all got something? Yeah, I just want to bring out this quick quote. Uh, it was mentioned earlier on the video I was watching, but this is all from Benjamin Franklin. It says, any society that will give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither and lose both. Mm. All right, and that's what's taking place. You know, they talk about the stay at home. You know, you, people people are more worried about uh, uh, you know this coronavirus that they don't see that what, what, what they're doing is that they 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 trying to get rid of that dollar. They trying to change up everything that we know. Life as we know is going to change, and, and they're doing it behind the scenes. So That's now right. you're going to lose your security and you're going to lose your freedom. You know, hence why they got that RFID microchip, which is the market to be uh, soon to be implemented because it's That's already right. out. You know, it's, but it's going to be pushed on a, on a, on a bigger and on a higher scale. It's going to be noticeable uh, in face, uh, face view, you know. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hey, that goes back to the first question that we brought out. Be not ignorant to Satan's devices, mm -hmm. man. The, most of our people are going to rely on the government, rely on Egypt pretty much to go back to normal, and they're going to fall into that ditch, fall into that trap, man, mm -hmm. because ultimately this is the time that the Lord is giving you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, he's giving you leisure. There's no more mirth, there's no more movies, there's no more sports, uh, you can't go to the movies, no more going to bars, no more sports uh, um, uh, events. So he's giving you a time to actually seek him, and he's showing all this chaos for you to seek him in your time of leisure. But this is, these are the plans of the so-called white man. His, his biblical nationality is Esau, Edom, and he knows he has a short time. That's why he's implementing this New World Order agenda. You know, if you go into the Georgia Guidestone, brothers bring it all the time. Their first, um, their first rule is to depopulate um, the, uh, the society from 7 billion to 500 million, mm -hmm. you know, so they have plans on killing a lot of people while it, ushering in their new uh, paper currency, not paper currency, their new uh, digital currency, which is the RFID chip. Mm -hmm. And who they really want to get eliminated and terminate is you, you, ne you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's why it, it, it best, you know, behoove you to seek these uh, uh, lessons and get right and repent, man. You know? uh, hey, just uh, with that quote, you know, it being by uh, Benjamin Franklin, a devil, going back to the Edomites, you mm -hmm. know, showing you that that's their agenda. That's what they're following. So if they can issue that and they can push that more and more, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's their guidelines, you know what I'm saying? This is what they live off of. They're that's trying right. to take that away from you. And they're trying to stick as close to their agenda as possible. Hence why when the scripture talks about he's going to fill his belly, you know, that's when the, the, the Lord's going to intervene. He's going to come back, you know, he's going to slap that spoon out of his hand. But showing you that these are the things that they're pushing you know this is what they this is what they main focus on they're not worried about uh your safety they're not worried about if you catch the coronavirus or not they're worried about implementing what they want uh their mm -hmm. agenda you know yes sir yeah, in that precept um this is in um isaiah 24 and 10 it says the city of confusion is broken down and every house is shut up and that no man may come in mm. you know the city of confusion is broken down mm -hmm. and the city of confusion is what it's America, man. America is known as Babylon. The word Babylon means what? In the Hebrew word, it means Babylon. Oh, oh, oh. Confusion. It's confusion, man. This is confusion because people don't know 
whether they going, whether they're coming, man. And America thrives off the confusion, off the people, you know what I'm saying? And this is why the world is in, the, is in the hysteria and this great panic, because people don't know whether these things are real or not. Also, I mean, we, we know what the coronavirus is, is a, is a common cold. But to the people, they don't know. They find a battle that's that's, uh, that's unseen, and, you know, and can't tell whether the government's really here to help them or not. But the point is, though, all of this is being done for what reason, man? It, it, it's, it's, it's a plot on the people so they could come with their agenda. But ultimately, because our people don't know who the Mosai is, man. Mm -hmm. This is why there's is chaos and confusion. If you know the power of the, the person that heals and, and that wounds and the person that kills and, and makes alive, there'll be no confusion, man. Mm -hmm. You know that, okay, if I get the coronavirus, I get it. But this is, again, showing you that America is a, is, is a land, <clears throat> that, uh, uh, that city of confusion. And it says every house is shut up and that no man may come in, meaning now all the business is gone away. That's right. You know what I'm saying? There's no, you know, mirth is out, out, out of the equation. Yeah, now kids, people going to be wondering what's going on. Your, your, your child's going to be asking what's the next birthday party. You know what I'm saying? People don't have no more entertainment. Mm -hmm. So all this is, is going to cause a, 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 a problem because not everyone is, stayed, is quarantined and stayed at home. And it's just like an animal that's been caged up. And, and when they now when they're free, I mean, they want to be free. But what, what, the point is, because they can't be free, it's, it, this is going to allow them to act up mm -hmm. and go out and, 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 uh, and start up trouble. You see, Jake is full of games, man, playing around. You see what happened over there in the Miami, um, uh, over there in Miami Beach. Mm -hmm. How Jake, you know, was told to get out the, the 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 beach to go home, but you know they don't listen. They still up and see what happened. You know, people's opening and firing, but it's just showing you like th th this is the direction that we heading to, man. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Mirth is out of this place, and it goes on to say in verse eleven, there is a crying for wine in the streets, and all joy is darkened. And the mirth of the land is gone. Oh, sure. They're gonna cry for the for, 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 for the wine. And the wine is just talking about what? This truth. Because people won't it's gonna to start to realize what the men of the Lord have been saying, starting with our apostles and elders from, from, from years ago, uh, are starting to come to pass, you know, yeah. especially pursuing to Ezekiel 33 and 33, when the scripture says, Then you should know that a prophet had been among you. Mm -hmm. Now these prophecies are, are starting to come to pass. Yes, sir. So, and they can't find the word because it's gonna, surely it's going to be a famine of the words pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? Because the internet is going to be shut down. And when all hell breaks loose, you, you don't expect brothers to go out there and go prophesy. You know? Yes, it's time to be locked and load and be ready for the battle. But go ahead, brother. Anybody? I got, I got something to you. got something to tell you? Go ahead, brother. Uh, let's go to 2nd Ezra 5 and 1. It says, Nevertheless, as, as come in the tokens, behold, the day shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great numbers, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. That's yeah. exactly what you mentioned. That's mm -hmm. right, baby. The Lord's about to judge a lot of people, mainly Jake's, man. You know, it's a lot of great death. Happened. Yeah, a lot of great death is coming, man. The Lord said he has a controversy with this place because there's no truth, no mercy, and no knowledge of the most high in this land. Yeah. You know, you Jake's been living it up. You've been disregarding the, uh, the the prophets, the warning from the Heavenly Father, because we are the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. You just continue to do uh, uh, your, your folly, living your sim simple life, continue to, to sin, pretty much. So now, all hell is coming upon you, man. And that's why the men of the Lord, we are rejoicing at these times, because the Lord has shown us uh, through these scriptures, He revealed of His secrets to His service to prophets. And we know what this is supposed to happen. But you Jakes that don't take heed, hey, you guys are going to be uncomfortable just like Esau is uncomfortable right now, you know. This kingdom is falling, man. And Babylon is going to be utterly destroyed, you know. And this is just the beginning of sorrow. This is the process, man. And, and and Esau don't know what he's doing, man. That's why he's going to come implement these plans, these, uh, these FEMA camps, the uh, martial law. Uh, implement that RFID chip because he knows he has a short time. I got something. This is Job 18. He said, he terrors himself in his anger. Shall the earth be forsaken for thee, and shall the rock be removed out of his place? Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, that's right. and the spark of his fire shall not shine. All right. So that's what that's what the brother is alluding to. Okay, it's great perplexity in this in this place, man. All right, and because it's unsure with the leaders here, which are. You know, they, they're devils anyway. You can feel the wickedness that's about to come down, mm -hmm. man. Okay? This place is unstable. At any time, this place could blow. You know? 
And then and it's going to do that. Um, it's right. going to. That's mm-hmm. the Lord, man. Yeah. I got some. This is Second Ezra 8, verse 50. And it reads, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in a lot of time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah, that's exactly what it is because, hey, that's exactly the my frame of, of these common Americans. Like they, they're so comfortable. You know, they, 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 they're so used to having a great time. They don't, they don't, they don't care what, what's going on in the world. But the Lord Yahweh Hashim Shai is pretty much, uh, 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 what's, what's, what's the word? It's pretty much uh, 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 taking off the carpet under your feet, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, exactly, that's exactly what it is. The Lord is making you uncomfortable because this place, the system that you see right now, it's on its way out of here, man. Come in, the, man. In, in order for the kingdom to be established, in order for the kingdom to be established here on earth, guess what? This current worship has to go away, man. And that's exactly what you see taking place right now as you speak. Hey, come I just uh, Google the word misery. You know, it's unhappiness, distress, hardship, suffering, affliction, anguish, torture, oh, exactly. torment, pain, heartache, heartbreak, despair. Hey, this is what the prophets been warning of the times of evil. That's why you have to, if somebody can get um, Ephesians 5. five before, that's, yeah. that's right. I was just thinking about yeah, that. You got, you got Ephesians 5? Yeah, 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 get yeah. Verse Ephesians four. chapter 5, verse 14. And it reads, uh, in the reason, well, for he said, awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. We, he's talking to the Israelites. The elect are going to awake from this dead state of mind, mm-hmm. you know, caught up in la la land, thinking everything is just a joke and folly, and wake up to this truth and know who they are, and mm-hmm. repenting and seeking after righteousness. You know, the Lord is going to give thee light, and that's what that light represents. It's not wisdom and understanding. Come. And he reads, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as false, but, uh, but as wise. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. Yeah, see, seeing that we walk circumspectly, keeping mm-hmm. your eyes, your head on the symbol, keep on watching. For, uh, we, we watch uh, constantly the, uh, what's going on in the news. We filter it through prophecy. Mm-hmm. But it, and that's how you got to constantly watch, man. You know, because these times, redeeming the times are evil. Evil is going to be bad times. And I read all these stuff, low spirits, gloom, heartache, heartbreak. This is what the Lord is going to bring to the earth, mainly mm-hmm. here in America, man. Uh, yeah, you know? I got three stuff, bro. Uh, this is um, Second Ezra 16 and 17. It says, Woe was me, woe was me, who will deliver me in those days. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Yeah, so Ezra is back in this time, in, in this time slot right here. Cause the way that he say the powers that be are shaking. So when you're looking at the news, right, Ezra is right here in this space and time right now. And that's how the, all the brothers are feeling all over the world. They don't know what's about to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's why Ezra said, what was me? What was me? Who will deliver me in that day? Yeah, because, yeah, because at the time he saw the vision. He saw himself in the in vision. In this you know? very same moment, right? Yeah. right. When the lights are about to go out, yeah. okay. When there's no more government ruling, when yeah. there's going to be mayhem in the street, all that, that's chaos. about to happen right now. It's chaos. And his description of what he's seeing is Jacob's trouble. That's and it. This is what we've been warning. He started from the apostle that I was on down from Great yeah. Mill There's going to be a time of trouble before the kingdom comes, before our Lord and Savior, how Shire comes and you know, brings us that place of righteousness. It's going to be a time, a path of, 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 difficulty. of difficulty throughout it, bro, mm-hmm. that we have to go through as a nation, man. Just like I seen that uh, that brother's locky, bro. The uh, ancient of days, that brother's video. He said, "You gotta get ready, get used to lose, lose things." Yeah, all right. Yeah, because it's, it's a very important thing to yeah. to lose instead yeah. of trying to keep it on your back. Just let it go, man. Yeah, let bro. it go. Now, I got something there. You know. Yeah, I'm just finish up on this. Um, this is verse twenty. It says, mm-hmm. "But for all these things, they they shall not." So I can, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Hmm. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. If I may add, just to that, can you read that one before the one? Uh, uh, 20? Yeah. I said, uh, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, and that just shows how hard-headed, stiff-necked, impudent uh, you Israelites are, man. From all this plagues and... A painful sorrowness that the blood is going to bring on you guys still have so much pride that you won't repent man mm-hmm. you won't repent and seek after him man mm-hmm. it says uh, behold victuals shall shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case 
And even even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Mm -hmm. All right? For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall shall the sword destroy. And, and their death and their death shall cast out as dung. So I can start over again. It says, And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall shall be no man to comfort them. Mm. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. Mm. Wow. Hey, God, so there's going to be so many dead bodies, you're not going to have enough people to bury the dead. Right? Mm -hmm. So the dead are going to be uh, on the streets, man. You're going to be walking uh, 10,000 on, on, on your right hand mm -hmm. and 10,000 on your left hand, but it shall come 90. As the, as the scripture said, Psalms 91 chapter. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what's about to Come and um, me, you know, me and his brother went over. Uh, we did a show going into that article about how they sent out those mortuary trucks, those morgue trucks. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you have a video out there with, with them loading up the bodies in the back of that truck. Yeah, yeah, but those awesome. trucks are only mm -hmm. limited. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's only a limited amount of trucks that can, and there's uh, so many, so many bodies that they, that they can uh, intake. You know, they can hold. So showing you that it's gonna get to a point where these bodies are just gonna be left out there on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Showing you. It's gonna be bad. I, I believe all uh, funeral homes are closed yeah. right now because they said they can't have personal funerals at the moment. You know because of the coronavirus issue. You know they yeah. so what's gonna happen is everybody that's uh, uh, dying at this time is going to be burned. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be cremated. And that's what they you was know? doing in um, China, right? Yeah. China, yeah. That's what they was doing in China. Yeah. So. Because really, you're not supposed to put a body that's diseased in the ground, you know? And that's 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 one of the ways that this world is passing away. This this world is not going to be the same ever again. I got First John 2 and 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay, so that, that goes back to that stress. Okay, if you if you putting things of this world on your mind at this point in time, then you don't have the the prophecies of Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. Oh, okay, then you're about to lose it. You're about to lose your shit, man. Okay, because a part of this uh, tribulation is going to be about mental health as well, man. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna be you're gonna have to be spiritually prepared, and you're gonna have to be mentally prepared. Yeah. All right? Your psyche has to be right. Has to be right. Your, only, your only, right. Yeah. Yeah. The only way you're going to do it, like Elder Gabal always say, when you read, you have a vision. But what happens if a person don't read? They perish, man, yeah. because yeah. they lack the vision. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Without vision, vision people yeah. perish. Yeah, yeah. You, you're going to have to have it, man. And the only way you're going to see this is through the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. We got a clear bird's eye view, so to speak. Through reading the words, wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Come Nobody on. else understands what we're talking about. Yeah. You know, when you be around normal Jake at work or whatever, and you say, "Oh, I'm happy this is happening," they look at you like they, they ten crazy. heads. Like, crazy. what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah the scriptures say that. Not that you are said that the natural man can't receive things of the spirit. Yeah. You know, yeah. hey, if we, if you were a spiritual man and you in tune, like the brother said, you read it and you. Know about prophecy, you have that testimony in Yahweh Shai, you're rejoicing at this time because it was written. The Lord declared the end from the beginning and he showed these until his service to prophet. Yeah. So the yeah. man outside who you work with or you know you used to go to school with or whatever, hey, they're planning on just laying low for a little while, the government in America Don't getting back care. to yeah, America's mm -hmm. gonna come back to mm -hmm. of normal and we're gonna be straight. Hey, they want this place to continue. But the scripture also says those that join hand in hand. They'll be thrust through, man. Right. You know? hey, if I should mention too, uh, it's like the elect seen a movie. Like this is a movie that the elect seen. That's right. And, 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 you know, we're giving people the warning, telling them like yo about the movie, like yo, this is what's gonna happen. That's but right. They choose not to listen. Yeah. So the only way they're gonna actually know about it is by them going through it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they, yeah. They, they, yeah. So that's the thing. Like that's what that's what it's like. Because when you read this, like the, the brother mentioned about that vision, you gotta envision yourself in this. Even Ezra said, "What was me? What was me? Who's gonna deliver me in those days?" So he's seen himself in that vision in this time. In this we're time. saying we should do the same when we read these scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's the that's how we're gonna get that uh, knowledge and wisdom being the stability of that time. And you know? keep moving forward, that's man. Right. Keep moving forward. You know, because the thing that was written in the past was for our learning right now. That's right. That's why it says that in the scripture. This that's is right. uh, verse 16. It says, "For all that is in the world, 
The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, mm -hmm. but is of the world. Right. And the world passes away in the lust thereof. Mm -hmm. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh, Ba'ashim mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai, right. abides forever. Right. Okay? And that's that's what we got. Okay? Because what does the scripture also say too? It says, fear not the men that can kill the body, but fear the men that can kill the body, body and, and soul. soul. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So that's that's who we that's who we fit, all right. Uh, and the rest of you Jakes, man, y'all got to catch up, man. You know the Lord will, you know, at that time those those men and those women are going to be brought in, all right, at that last trump. But that's why we keep on doing the will of the heavenly Father, man, because we're trying we're trying to gain something. We're trying to gain that uh, incorruptible crown, mm -hmm. so to speak. You see. And that's what our job is here, you know. We wasn't nothing in this world. Mm -hmm. So it, it's to lose a life. You never lived before. You ain't lived yet. How do you live? You just ain't living, man. It's like fucking slavery day in, day out. Mm -hmm. Just existing. Just existing. Just existing, mm -hmm. man. And it's no good, man. It, right. This is not a, a, a profitable life, so to speak. The only profitable life that we have is through these scriptures, man. And doing the will of the Heavenly Father. That's what makes it profitable for true men of the Lord. Not like people like those other groups, okay? You know, the alphabet groups out there. They want they want instant glorification on their side. Mm -hmm. They want to be, you know, the man of the hour, so to speak. Yeah. But it's only one man in the hour, man. And when he coming, he going to rip shop. And y'all ain't going to be on the list, man. Uh, All right? Bro, bro, bro. Right, let's wrap real quick. This is our uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 34. It says, Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my mm -hmm. word shall not pass away. Right, come on. If, 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 if I may, I write it says, This generation shall not pass because the, the same generation that is today, that was the same generation that crucified Yahweh Shah. So right mm -hmm. now they are here to receive the judgment, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they got to pay for the sin because uh, there can't be redemption. Without bloodshed, a sacrifice has to be made. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they deny Yahusha, I guess what? The, the blood is of Yahusha is still on their hands. So mm -hmm. in this lifetime, they have to pay, man. They're gonna, that's why the scripture says, uh, 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 what's that? Uh, Zachariah 2 verse 8, two yeah. thirds of, of, of his yeah. people yeah. Yeah. are going yeah. to yeah. par uh, perish. You know? That's right. Zechariah 13 verse 8. Mm -hmm. uh, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall. Be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two thirds of our people are gonna perish here in America, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's and that's also making prophecy because uh, when you look into Revelation three and verse sixteen, and it says the number of the men for it is the number of men, and this number is six hundred three score and six. And when you go to Zechariah three and eight, two thirds that's sixty six point six. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's the, that's that these are the, the two thirds of people. That's gonna follow Esau in the system to the grave, man. They pretty much enlaved this devil. So, so guess what? They're gonna have to receive some judgment as Esau, man. That's right. They're not fit to inherit the kingdom, you know. Right. Verse nine. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them, and I will say, It is my people, and they shall say. Yahweh is my power. So the, the one third, they're gonna have, the, 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 they're gonna believe on Yahweh Shai. They're gonna call on His name mm -hmm. in time of trouble. Guess what? The Lord gonna gonna hear them. He's gonna save them, man. And what's that problem? The, the name of the Lord is a strong, is a strong tower. tower. The rest is gonna cling to it. They are safe. So the the the, the one third remnant, they're gonna have faith, man. They're gonna have faith. Everything they're gonna do, they're gonna rely on the name of Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord's gonna stand for them, you know. That's right. Come on, going back to Matthew uh, twenty-four. On 37 it says, But as the day of Noah was, so shall also the, the coming of the Son of Man be. Mm -hmm. As the, as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, married and giving to marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. If I may add to it, Noah prophesied for 120 days, telling people there was going to be a flood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 120 years. So like 120 years, they make fun of them. They, 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 they scoff. Scoff. Yeah, they did all kind of uh, uh, horrible things to them. And, and the same things are happening full circle, man. There's nothing yeah. new under the sun. We're, right. tell, we're telling you the same thing over and over again. You know, you, you, you just, you're just doing the same thing that you did in the past, man. Yeah. Guess what, man? That's, right. <laughs> That's why the scripture says there's nothing new under the sun, man. That's you know? Right. Come on. Um, verse 39, it says, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away 
so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So it's, a, it's like a movie playing uh, a, uh, the same way all over again, mm -hmm. all over again. Mm -hmm. Ancient Egypt, like you have to, the, 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 the Lord deliver us from the house of bondage, mm -hmm. and, and we had to wander in the wilderness for 40, 40, 40 years, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, that, for the old generation to die off, mm -hmm. in order for us to go to the promised land. The same thing's gonna be happening here over here in, in the Americas. I mean, two thirds gonna have to basically stay here and destroy, and the one they're gonna be delivered, man. You know, right? Wow. It's the same thing happening that's all over right. again, man. Yeah. You know, that's, that's history, right. history repeating itself. So. Yeah. yeah. So it was we're just prophesying now. It's that water, as Noah did, is now it's by fire. That's right. And it's by through thermal nuclear missile. Oh, I get that from bro. Hey, and yeah. again, mostly only great millstone, uh, starting from the apostles and elders. Um, down and brothers on down prophesying about this RFID chip, but mainly America being utterly destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Man, yeah. it's gonna be a World War Three. World, World War Three is and in, it's inevitable. Inevitable, yeah. yeah. And it's in the scriptures, man. But again, you gotta have this, this, this the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy yeah. dealing with you to 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 understand the dark sayings, the 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 parables, you know, the the, the, the secret things, the allegories mm -hmm. of the scriptures, man, because. At the end of the day, you could read the Bible from Genesis 1 all the way down to Revelation 22 as a novel, but you got to get it from precept upon precept. You got to be taught the, the real puzzle, the real cl the clue within the, the mystery. You know what I mean? If that makes sense, you know? Uh, back here, we saw 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days coffers, walking after the unlust, saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fall asleep, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Mm -hmm. For this, they will they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High Yahweh Hashem The heavens were of all, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water were by the well that was then mm -hmm. being overflow with water perish. Yes, right. But the heaven and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire. That's right. Hey, that's now. You know, first it was reserved for that first death, which was the the, the flood of, of the water. Mm -hmm. And now here comes the second death that was reserved for fire, man. It's the thermal nuclear missile. And look what he said. He's, uh, who was it? John the Revelator said it was uh, seen as a lake of fire. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. You know? That's right. Yeah. Come, says, uh, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. By the same word, Noah was prophesying. And what was his, the scriptures? Mm -hmm. You know, even if it was just the Old Testament, you're still having faith in the, the, the words of Yahweh, the testimony. You know, and we're now we're using the same words, the prophesying. It said the prophets of old and before we prophesied against what old in countries, in countries, kingdoms, kingdoms mm -hmm. war, evil, evil and pestilence. pestilence. That's right. Hey, and this is what we're doing now, man. Right? So right. now this judgment here in Babylon the Great, aka America, is now going to be reserved for fire. Come, you know, it says, uh, "What the heavens of the earth in the earth." Which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire, mm -hmm. even the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. That's yes, right. The day of judgment. This is the this is the Lord's heart. This is what the Lord is uh, his righteous indignation, man. Right. And that's what's coming to America, man. So this place is it's, it's, it's a done deal, man. Yeah. It's a done deal, man. It's through. It's through through us, man. That's right. Uh keep going says uh, verse eight, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Hey, beloved, man, he's talking to his brethren, man, his, the Israelites, mostly the elect, man. Be not ignorant, man. Ignorance, we got to know, man. And we know because we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the wisdom and knowledge is the beginning of fear. I mean, fear in the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and understanding. You know? yeah. It says that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Hey, the Lord is not slack, man, meaning uh, if... Whatever he says, he's going to fulfill it. It's impossible for the Most High to lie, man. Right. His word goes without void. Yeah, come on. It's allowing time for you for, for, for the elect to come back repentance. That's right. It says that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, Lord, not willing that any shall perish, but that all should come to repentance. It comes. We had to go through this suffering, but hey, like the brother just said, we had to go through that suffering, but the Lord was allowing for the elect to, to come from that. Falling away first, we would not know who we are. But now the Lord put the, brought the Spirit back in us. Well, the elect, now the one writes us out. We are part of the, the, the men, you know, to come back to know who we are. And now giving us the Spirit to prophesy and, and to, to, to prophesy the downfall of Esau and in America. You know? 
Verse 10, but the day of the Lord, Yahweh shall come as a thief in the night, mm -hmm. from the which the heaven shall pass away with great noise. See, and the Lord's going to come as a thief in the night, and as he's going to come to a thief that those that stay in darkness. That's why this light represents the prophecies, this wisdom. You know, the elect are going to have that, them light bulbs raised, man. But mm -hmm. those that, that reject this knowledge, they scoff and scorn like they did with Noah back mm -hmm. in those days. Yeah. Hey, they're going to be utterly destroyed when he comes. He's going to be a thief to them. What's that? Five wise, five, five foolish. Five brethren. That's yeah. right. It says, oh, but the, the, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. The great heavens shall pass away, man. That's talking about uh, Esau's rulership, man. Their heavens, you know, that's uh, their kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Rulership. Yeah. Rulership. Yeah. Their yeah. age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Their time. Yeah, yeah. 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 It says, uh, the earth also... The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burned up. See then that all the things shall be dissolved. What men or person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness. See, so knowing all this hell is going to break loose here in America and the judgment of Esau is coming and we can see it. What men are of us to be in holy conversation? Yes, that means conversating, but also being a, a Hebrew Israelite and following after Yahweh Shema Shai off camera on your day to day life. You know, mm -hmm. rehearsing the righteous act, staying brotherly, mm -hmm. constantly reading, praying, fasting, you know, oh, Rep right. asking for repentance, mm -hmm. pra giving praises to the Lord when you receive good or when you receive mm -hmm. uh, bad, bad, yeah, it's, right. it's a balance. Man. It says, uh, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, Yahweh HaShinoshai, when the heaven, begun fire, shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's right. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Why do all the freshness? Huh. So we know that this old heaven, Esau's rulership, is going to be uh, passed away with, with fervent heat by them thermonuclear missiles. You know, uh, the Lord has promised that he's going to set up a new kingdom, a new earth with dwelleth righteousness. And this is what we're hastening for, you know. And this is why the continents of most of the men of, at Great Millstone, we're rejoicing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's our content because we know that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, man. And a uh, quick precept going into about um, holy conversation and all godliness, you know. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and uh, 6. It says, seek, this is, what, this is what you should be doing, mm -hmm. knowing that these times are coming, such as uh, a great destruction is coming. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Shem Al Shah, while he may be found, and call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto Yahweh Shem Al Shah. And he and he will have mercy upon him until our power, for he will he will abundantly pardon. So showing you like, you know, going into uh, what the brother just brought out, you know, knowing that this place is gonna be utterly burned with fire, knowing that these plagues are coming upon the world, you know, there's there's still an opportunity for you to get right because the Lord didn't take his men off the highways and the byways yet. Yes, that famine the word hasn't it hasn't the Lord hasn't uh, stopped his men from pushing his word yet. Come. So we still have an opportunity. But this is this is one thing that you this is the main thing that you should be doing in these times because now that you've seen these prophecies of hitting and they're coming fast, mm -hmm. you know this that back to back, you know the Habakkuk the second uh, second chapter third verse said where the vision is yet uh, time, time, time. time although the terror wait for it, it will surely come, you yeah, know. So now time. it's coming, you know. Now you're yeah. seeing it. So how much how much more now to get right with the Lord? Hey, wow. if I may add, we believe that this is like the final warning, man. Not right. this video in, in particular, but. This season, man, yes. this is this right. is like the final warning, man. That, the, the doors the of mercy, yeah, the hypocrisy, mm -hmm. yeah, the yeah, as the yeah, elder pops to our coin it. Hey, man, that deal, the, the door of mercy is there. They're closing, man. Hey, look, look, look at it. You know, there's, there's camps that can't even go up on the highways and byways. So that's they're right. doing they're doing uh videos off the live stream. These uh, that's right. so it's showing you like that's another step closer to the famine of the world. That's right. You know. So that's the Lord calling on to you, stretching yeah. out his arm like yeah. the Proverbs. And, and it was an article that was written um, was it yesterday. I seen it. Somebody put it on the group chat. Uh, that that group over there in um, UK. England, yeah. in the UK. Yeah. Those those guys, you know, that's just a surefire way of, you know, the system that's getting ready to be put in place is about to sweep all the men in the Lord. Off corners, man. Mm -hmm. Because in that article, one of the things that it says is that this is it. This that was the mass straw. You know, mm -hmm. we got to get these guys off the street. They're just spewing hate, hate, hate all day long. So, it, like the brother said, they got to go. You know, you seen the Chicago camp? They cut uh, cut down. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't GMS. Yeah. But it was. Uh, I got Chicago. that article for you. Just to you to, do got it. Yeah. 
It says, well, it says it's from uh, hope, no, no hate. Oh, hope, not hate. Dot yeah. org, UK. And uh, the headline reads, the church of Yahweh Shah are inciting, are inciting violence and hatred. It's time for authorities to act. And that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, that right yeah, yeah, I just showed it to so, you. Well, my folks are locked bro. Yeah. It also says, uh, the, this extremist sect of black Hebrew Israelites have been preaching hatred and violence on the streets of London for too long. It's time for the authorities to take action. That's it. That, that line right there. So with that being said, it's just a matter of time before the whole system gets in an uproar about uh, uh, pushing the men of the Lord off the street. Yeah. You see? Femin of the word. The feminine of the word. The feminine of the word is it. Yeah. You know? This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, for I shall that I will send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh, for That's it. So, you know, it's, it's going to get to the point where, you know, you, you two-thirds, you're not going to know what's going on. Yeah. You know, and it's going to be in worse cases than it was before because <laughs> you truly not going to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Right? All you're going to know is, is Esau is going to be the biggest devil in the world that you thought you never would see in this time. Right. Okay? But he, he showed you he's going them horns, man. Hey, real quick, if I just add, I was just reading a little bit more because the brother brought out Amos 8 and 11. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah Khan, uh, they're going to remove prophets off the streets, but they also talk about in this article that, oh, they've been uploading and recording their videos and uploading to the YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that just proves that YouTube is going to start finding all these um, type of videos mm -hmm. and just take them off. So this is why you need to take heed and it, the Israelites need to go take heed and, and follow the Lord and seek the Lord as he may be found as his brother brought out. Man. I think I think that's on the group chat too. Um, it was somebody posted it on the group chat that the algorithm is now automatic at YouTube and it's going to select what videos are deemed safe now oh, to really? be for children and everything so your your uploads won't get get on there. Yep. yep. So it basically don't, don't, your, your your subscribers won't get notifications. Like Nothing. That, right? And it's yeah. already started happening because that brother in um in uh, uh, uh what's that? North Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. He said that his live streams are never posted in you know, so so he said the uh, the guy that was giving the interview. I don't know if it's in that group chat or if somebody sent me it personally. Right? Oh, is it this one that says the famine of the world is here? Bill allows government to control all internet content. That's it. You that's, don't want to be posted. It. It. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I watched it myself. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. yeah. It was a video. Just, yeah, yeah. So that's 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 basically what's going on, man. Like like we said, a lot of draconian measures are being mm -hmm. taken out. You know, and they, they're going to do it underneath the guise of COVID-19, you know. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to sneak it in the back door. Mm -hmm. And they're going to cut your, your views in half. They're going to mm -hmm. cut your channel off because it's not uh, monetary. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that's getting ready to happen, man. Right? But also, maybe their skirt is being revealed. That's right. The son of perdition is being revealed. And the Lord is giving, you know, we're speaking through the Lord. The Lord's given us the spirit to speak to expose them, man, and their plans. Uh, how they've been doing in their past, you know, their secret activities. Now the devil, the son of position has been revealed, so now what he has to do, he has to play unfair, man. Yeah, hey, but look, and we, we uh, go back to Amos 8 and 11, it says that the Lord said he's going to send that famine in the land. Right. All right? So it's Yahweh. Right? Um, so uh, I'm going to start back at 11. Yeah, yeah, on. On. This is uh, Amos 8 and 11. says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh, about Shemel Shah, that I will send a, a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh Shem Al Shah. So the Lord is on culture, right? Mm -hmm. He said he wants to the famine. So the Lord ultimately is on culture. But really, when you think about it, when you think about it, it the word is already out, man. Right. The word is already out. Uh, <laughs> Matthew 24 and 14. That's yeah. Right. The word is going to accomplish and do exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah, and what's the, what, like you said, the, the word is preached on the four corners of the earth. Then the end shall come. The end shall come. So once, this, once, the, once the Lord take away 
the words were being put out there, his words, you know, guess what? Now, now, you know, that's when, that's when you know. That's why you uh, see a lot of prophecies coming uh, to pass. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is what the angels said. Uh, what is it? Revelation, the seventh hold chapter. The, hold, hold, hold back the wind, the, the yeah, winds. Yeah, yeah until they let me seal. Be sealed. You know? Uh -huh. So um, this is uh, verse 12. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shino Shah, and shall not find it. And that's when the, the word of Yahweh Shino is going to be precious. Yes, because right. when you have something in abundance, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't take it in consideration. Right. But when, when you don't have it no more, you're like, oh, shit, I'm, where, are, where are these guys? They where, have where they have appreciation for it. Yeah. They have appreciation for it. And that's exactly what's yeah. going to come. And it's going to be too late. Now mm -hmm. is the perfect time to basically to seek your power, Yahweh Shino Shah, because pretty soon the, the, the internet that we have, you know, right? That the most that Yahweh Hashem just set up, man, it's about to be cut off, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's about to be cut off because hey, the internet was set up to for, for this God for this gospel, man, for, for this gospel. That's right. And that's it, right. it has done its job, man. Yeah, it has done its job. It's all this man, and that is even in the scriptures. Yeah. 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 Psalms nineteen, you know. Yeah. So it's yeah. showing you that the, the Most High used the internet for 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 this platform for this platform, word yeah. to go out you know sure. which is beautiful because that's how you know what the brother mentioned the most high is in control you know, how about you know shah is in control yeah, sure. you know and what he's doing when he takes his men off you know those two thirds you know they're gonna be that's it that's it for him you know and those that are that are seeking for the word they're not gonna be they're not gonna be uh you know the, the scripture calls the the words the comforter the, the scripture i mean yeah the scripture talks about the words being the comforter comfort, yeah. you know in that time of trouble his men are gonna be comforted yeah, yeah. Yeah. the two thirds though that's why they're gonna be running to him for because they're gonna be seeking that for comfort. something they're gonna, miss, they're yeah. gonna be missing something yeah. you know what I'm and then sure. it's gonna be it's gonna they're gonna know they're gonna know the difference between the man of the lord and they're gonna know the difference between you know someone that that doesn't serve the lord you know okay. i got a quick book this uh baroque chapter five verse five and you read Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about toward the east, and behold thy children gather from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in remembrance of the Most High Yahweh Hashem mm -hmm. You know, and that's exactly what it is. The word Yahweh Hashem is what doing this gathering, you know, bringing the light from the focus of the earth mm -hmm. into this world. 